Hi, this is Kathleen Ennis at the MJC Library, and today we are going to use Microsoft Word 2010 to format a research paper in the MLA style. Our first consideration with MLA is line spacing. So if you bring your cursor up to the paragraph area and use this little box down in the bottom right hand corner to open the paragraph dialog box, you can change your line spacing to double. It's also important that your spacing before and after each line is set to zero. So I'm going to change the default 10 point font after lines to zero. And just to ensure there are no extra spaces floating about my paper, I'm going to select this box don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Now I have zero, zero, double, don't, and I can say OK, and my line spacing is done. My next consideration is font, so I'm going to bring my cursor up to the font area, access this pull down menu, and scroll down my alphabetical list until I find Times New Roman. I'm also going to make sure I have a standard font size, which is 12. My page number header also needs to be in Times New Roman 12 point font. So let's go ahead and add that now. To add your page number header, you simply bring your cursor up to the Insert tab, come over to the header and footer area and select page number. MLA requires their page number, the top right hand side, which is plain number three. And they want you to enter your last name and a space. And as I mentioned, we need to ensure that Times New Roman 12 point font is also a part of the header. I'm going to exit my header simply by double clicking into the body area of the paper. And if I need to make any adjustments to the header, it's good to know that you can simply double click up at top and get back there. Now it's time to enter our, our general heading of the paper. That begins at the far left top corner of your paper and it starts with your name, press return one time, your instructor's name, your course name or number, and the date. And it is important to note that MLA requires your date to be entered in the following format day, month, year. Next comes the title and we are just going to press return one time and bring our cursor up to the paragraph area and select center text. Your title is centered and the major title words are capitalized but other than that, there is nothing special, meaning MLA is pretty explicit about not italicizing your title or underlining your title or using a special font style or font size. Simply centered with major title words capitalized. I'm going to press return once. Return to my left justification. Hit tab. And now I can begin my paper. Let's press return a few more times and go ahead and get a good start on our works cited list. Your works cited list is always a separate page in MLA. So I simply went to page two. I'm at the top of that page. I'm going to once again select center text, type works cited, press return once, 
return to the left justification. And I have already prepared a citation to put in here. And I think I'm going to, to match my destination formatting just to ensure that my citation is double spaced in Times New Roman. And now all I have to do is highlight my site, come up to the paragraph feature, and add special indentation hanging. And there we are. We're well on our way to having a perfectly formatted MLA paper.